I wonder if he lost his first teeth by licking a moving beater, like I did. What? Volta H? Six? Reducious? Oh, what is... What is that? Um... Volta... H... Six... 8.9. I don't know what. I'm just writing everything down so I don't have to go back here. Um, and this. I'll give this guy one excuse. He had a weird childhood. Uh, yep, that is <laughs> a really nice painting. Um, the outdoor sock puppets, like, I mean, he had them all over the ship, but oh, he has a child, Jesus Christ. What about this one? I'll bet someone oh, was trying to knit socks and they ended up too long. And so, Snake. Oh, he, he got the shoes, I think, with the skulls. It was size 7. Okay. Is there anything else? Doesn't look like it. Huh. What, this one? Shea Volta, Best Actor, Purple Boots, the Musical. <laughs> Purple Boots. I would, I would like to see uh, that. Hello? Hey. Who are you? My name's Vela. What's yours? Mine? Well, mine is, uh... Gosh, it's been so long since anyone asked. Let me look it up. Uh, okay. It's Melanie. Huh. Are you a closet, Melanie? Kind of. Step inside. I'll show you. Oh god, that sounds creepy. Oh god, we're gonna get shrinked or a head or Good. now close those eyes tight to make sure your eyeballs make it to the same place you do. Uh okay. What? Fingers crossed. <laughs> I'm scared. Surprise! I'm a teleporter. Now you tell me a secret. Hey, where'd the other room go? What's wrong with my head? And my voice? Oh, no, I thought I had that fixed. Uh. You made my head bigger. No worry, sweetie, it's temporary. Take a trip back through me and I'll set things right. This is weird. I didn't even notice that her head got bigger, but first... I think there is... Was there a way out of here? I think there was. I think that lead us to the main... ...thing, because I actually want to go through here again, I think. And talk to the mother. Let's see if we can get something with that information. Hello in there. Who's out there? I can barely hear- Um, I sound more like Shay. I mean, myself now. Does he sound higher? Or I should get a lower voice. Do I sound more like Shay? I mean, uh, myself? Now? Maybe, but I You sound so strange. If you don't believe I'm Shay- Shit. I'm leaving. Oh, I just don't know what to believe. Okay. So we have to shrink back, but doesn't our voice have to get lower, not lighter? And I think we can't get it lower than our own ones, but let's see. Let's go through, um, let's go through that teleporter. Hi, Mel. Back to the junk room? Yes. Let's see if this works. Let's see if it gets even lower. Bye-bye. There's my old head again. But we don't Are want you that. Sure? It still looks a little big to me. Yes, this is all brains. <laughs> all right, all right. Okay, let's go back. We want Close to go through the other, uh, through other teleporter and see if we can get it. Oh gosh, yeah, I can see now. Thanks for choosing teleportation. You made my head bigger. Yep, we know that. Um, we go to this one or this one. Let's go through this Hello. one. Hello. You know, she hasn't said much since the ship was attacked. Hope she's okay. Ooh. She's just being a drama queen so she gets special maintenance. Give it up, Nadine! Is that the mother? Still out of commission? Guess so. But I uh, guess we can s just go through here? Hi. Who wants to go to the starboard passageway? I guess me. <laughs> You haven't eaten in at least an hour, have you? No, I don't remember ah, eating any time. There's my old head again. No, damn it. Um, what if I go back here? 
Hey there. Back to the Nexus. Yes, back to the Nexus, please. I don't want to talk too much with you. <laughs> Close your eyes and don't look down. Oh, Kaden. Okay, it's bigger now. Make sure to give me a button. Let's go through here again and see if it gets back to normal. Hi, Mel. Back to the junk room. Um. Here goes nothing. Ah, oh, there's my old head Shit. again. What should we do in order not to sound strange? One sec, let me get the head thing on. I don't think this helmet would do much good there. Okay, let's go back here hey, again. So Oh honey, we need to talk about your perfume. Hey. <laughs> my perfume is alright. So um Ciao. You Ciao. Made my head bigger. Yep, we know that. Um we have to find a way to change our voice or something. But I don't know how many options we have. I don't think we have much. But let's go to the mother again. We don't have anything we can show her because obviously she can't see us. So we have to um Can we put it on here now? I don't think this helmet would do much good there. Hello in there. Who's out there? I can barely hear you. Uh I don't think. I'll be right back. What? Who are you? Uh Okay, our voice does sound deeper, though. Let's get back to Merrick. We have to open the second door somehow. Maybe he can tell us which button to press. That would be nice. <laughs> okay, let's go through here. Hello, Merrick. I've gotta go. Oh, well. Get into the central control room. It's the only way to stop this. Um, okay, then. Is there anything we can do here? That's the switch he used to unlock that door over there. Better leave it unlocked. Okay. Hmm. Okay, let me think. Do 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 do. Wait, we we can ha we have to go down. Um be sure to move. Huh. We haven't been to uh, that thing in a while. The, the thing we started off, so maybe there's something we can do here. Oh, wait, this is the. Oh, let's just go through. <laughs> uh, uh, uh. What's wrong? Can't go the same direction twice while we're having that head thing. Really? Yeah. Come back through me from the other side. You and your head will be approximately good as new. Hmm. I want to see something. There must be a way we can prove uh, that. Ugh, I'm I'm so confused right now. Hello? Can we? Okay. I don't want to free this guy until I'm 100% sure about him. Yep, I'm I know about that. <laughs> Wait. Let's see if we can go around uh, the other way. If we can find a way to make our head even bigger. There must, there must be a way. Cuz like Wait, I have to see. I have a feeling how it's going to work. I'm just not sure yet, but let's go through here. Move it. I like to move it, move it. I like to move it. Let's block it that way because I don't want to be followed by anything. <laughs> if there is anything, I can follow us. Um, let's go through here. Let's not try this way because I think the door should be working. Hey there. Back to the Nexus? Yes, please. Let's see if this works. Let's hope our head get bigger. Yes. Remember to come back through the way you came to avoid unwanted alterations. <clears throat> now it's even bigger. Don't oh yeah. Push it, honey. Come back through me before you pop. <laughs> we need to We need to use that now. <laughs> Okay, um, let's go 
to the mother. Where this is gonna be a long way. Uh, there you go. So let's talk now. We have a deeper Hello voice. Hello in there. Who's out there? I can barely hear you. How can she tell that it's a different voice then if she can barely hear, hear us? It's me, Shay. You sound kind of funny. It must be the intercom. Yep. But still, totally. I need a little more proof, Shay. I mean, whoever you are. I want to believe it's you, Shay, but everything is just so strange right now. First the crash, and then my controls went dead, and now I can't reach your father. I just... I don't know who to trust. So just make me feel better by answering a few easy questions, okay? Okay. Um, sure. All right. First question. What was the name of your favorite stuffed animal as a child? Oh, shit. Uh... Mr. Um... Uh, we don't. I, I. I. don't think. Did we see that? Maybe it was the thing with the yarn snake, but I didn't see a name. I'm just gonna. Mister sounds nice. Mister. <laughs> Go on. Oh no, we know that. You know that from the first first act. It was Huggy. Huggy. Is that your answer? Uh yeah. yes. Mister Huggy. I see. Oh Shay, I'm so glad you remembered yes. Mister Huggy. He was the first friend I ever knit for you. I'm starting to feel kind of bad about this. What mm. was that? Nothing. I see. Well, I have another question for you. Of all my little pet names for you, which one was your favorite? Uh, one second. Uh, I, I'm confused. Like, if she comes out, she will see how uh, different we are. Um, God, can we not do this? Because I don't know the answer. Please, can we not do this? That's that's exactly what you used to say all the time. <laughs> okay. You hated my nicknames. I mean, Shay did. Now, just one more question for safety. I used to make my son new space boots every year until his ninth birthday when he insisted on machine-made boots from the replicator. As he would surely remember, I tried to keep things fresh by never repeating a color or a pattern. Ah. So, please tell me what was the color, size, and pattern of his very first space boots. The very first ones were... Uh, wait, I wrote that down, but really red? I think they were red, right? Where did they wear shoes with skulls? Red. And the size? The size was... Oh gosh. Within one year it grew three shoe sizes. Well, in the picture we saw one with seven, but that wasn't it. Seven. Shit, I can only guess. I guess it's four. Size four. And the pattern. Skulls. Skulls. Oh. Oh, I really thought it was you, Shay. Oh, shit. Leave me alone, whoever you are. But what was it then? Uh. Okay, I thought about this, and the, the um, size 4 should be right. Then we saw this thing which said, um, musical, like, the purple boots, so that's what I'm gonna say purple, because I think he did this musical before he got his, uh, second shoe or something. Purple. And the size? And the size should be 4. Size 4. And the pattern? Um, I think it wasn't skulls, actually. And it wasn't stripes, because that's what he, he was like last time I had stripes, so I think solid would be boring, so I'm gonna say polka dot, because I think that was on a metal thing. Polka dot. Oh. Oh. Shay, it is you! Yes. <gasps> You're not a computer. You're not Shay. She's tall and skinny. Ow. Oh, who are you? What have you done to our ship? Where's my son? 
Uh, who are you? Well, we know it's Ramal, but look, this. Look at who raced. <laughs> yeah, that doesn't look good. Who are you? And why have you been kidnapping girls with this ship? Are you insane? Um, no, I'm not. My name is Vela Tartine. I shot down your ship. What? Why? We are an unarmed deep space vessel on a peaceful mission. Um, not that. <laughs> it didn't look that peaceful to us there. Where is the big mom computer that controls this ship? Mom computer? What, what are you talking about? The wolf told... Uh, I don't think that's... I want some answers. I want some answers. Me too! Uh, let's just say the wolf. The wolf told me about you. Okay, now just calm down. You, you need some help. <laughs> no. You are not in space. Look at that window. Well, not anymore. You shot us down. No, you were never in space. It's all fake. The stars are on the inside. On the outside, you're a monster. But... She's right, my friend. There Eric. he is. That's the wolf I was talking about. That voice. Hey, why aren't you trapped under that junk anymore? I am no wolf, am I, Hope? I'm an old friend. <gasps> uh, Mary Kai, what are you doing here? Ew. I'm here to finish Operation Dandelion for you. I'm sorry that we had to keep some aspects of the mission secret from you and your family. I knew you were evil. But how are you... You said our world was dying. It was, but then you went forth and found our salvation. As so many have before you. The Mogs. Sorry about the outer space theatrics. Just a precaution to save you from the temptation to go native as some of your predecessors did. We were never in space? <laughs> no. Laruna is a great empire unto itself, but is part of this very same planet. Beyond the Plague Dam. Funny you should mention that, Bella. Because here we are. Oh, you devil. Now while I prepare the ship for sterilization, you two sit tight and relax. And know that you are contributing to the well-being of many generations to come. You little dick. Captain! Up here! I'm a weapon! Um... You are a weapon. Uh, I I think I'm gonna end this episode right now. I am, I'm confused, and I don't know if I want to pick this up, but I think I'm gonna do this before I end. Hey, look, a fork. I'd have a full set if I could just find the. Oh, I wouldn't bring up the S P O O N if I were you. Oh. Tiny here broke his heart, so we volunteered for a suicide mission. You shut your mouth, Dutch. Hey, don't worry. I won't tell him who you dumped it for. Yikes. Okay, we have a little bit of relationship problems there. Okay, we have a fork and a knife now. But now I'm going to end the episode. I hope you enjoyed this let's play. It, it looks really interesting now when we get um, a lot of answers uh, from the last act. And I hope this is going to be as exciting as the first act was. And yeah, leave a rating down below, a comment, and tell me what you think. You can also subscribe if you want. And yeah, see you in the next episode. Bye!